Hi, I'm Janice Atkin and I'm on the ACARA team reviewing the Australian Curriculum Health and Physical Education. The overall aim of the review is to improve the Australian Curriculum from Foundation to Year 10 by refining, realigning and decluttering the content of the curriculum. In particular, we're working to refine and reduce the amount of content and duplication where we can. We are also focused on improving the quality of the content descriptions and achievement standards. We want the Australian Health and Physical Education curriculum to be clear about what is most important for students to learn and therefore what teachers have to teach. With Health and Physical Education, we looked at the latest research, key reports and international curriculum developments and talked to key academics and our professional associations. In particular, we looked at countries who had recently released new curricula in health and physical education, such as Wales, Scotland and British Columbia. We investigated the latest research into child and adolescent health issues, trends in physical activity and sport participation, and current policy imperatives in the health and movement fields. We engaged with key academics and professional associations representing health and PE teachers, outdoor education and home economics teachers. We also heard from teachers who shared their experiences about implementing the Australian curriculum. We've established two new health and physical education reference groups, one comprising teachers and the other made up of curriculum officers from across Australia. These reference groups have helped guide and inform the review. We also had a separate reference group with primary school expertise. They've been able to give feedback on the manageability of the curriculum, looking across all the learning areas at specific year levels or bands. Drawing on the background research and working with the reference groups, we identified some key areas where the health and physical education curriculum could be improved. Identification of essential content, refinement of achievement standards to remove duplication with content, refinement of content descriptions to create greater clarity for teachers, refinement of elaborations to explicitly align with our focus areas and the general capabilities and cross-curriculum priorities, and refine content to ensure it is inclusive of all learners, particularly in the movement strand. And so we've proposed the following revisions to the health and physical education curriculum. We've reduced the number of content descriptions to provide more opportunity to teach for greater depth and rigour. We have removed content from Health and PE that was identified as duplicated in the arts in Foundation to Year 4 related to teaching of dance and also content that was covered in Years 7 to 10 within the HASS curriculum in relation to connections with the natural and built environment. We have strengthened the content around the development of skills and understandings required to identify opportunities for engaging in regular physical activity and the steps and resources to initiate and continue participation across a range of activities and settings. We have created greater alignment of the elaborations to focus areas and general capabilities and developed sequences of illustrations of learning across Foundation to Year 10. We have included additional elaborations that authentically align with the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people's histories and culture cross-curriculum priority. We have created a What's Changed and Why document. This document gives you more detail about all the revisions we have proposed for the Health and Physical Education curriculum. Take the time to have a look at this document. So now we're looking to hear from you. This is a simple three-step process. Read the consultation curriculum, familiarise yourself with the survey, and finally complete the survey. It's really important we hear your views. We want to hear all your feedback, positive and negative. Your responses will help shape an Australian curriculum for the next generation of children. To give your feedback, simply complete the survey online.